So on today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the window motor in your 98 to 2003 Buick after your daughter puts it down and now all you hear is crunchy noises as you try and put it up and down. Here are the tools you're going to need to do the job. Pry bar, a Phillips screwdriver, a pick to help pull the electrical connectors apart, a T30, and a 10 millimeter socket. So I'm going to grab all those up and head out. And since my wife will only drive 20 something plus year old Buicks, you head out to one of your many parts cars that you need to keep your stupid 20 plus year old Buick on the road. All right, you need to pry up this little cap inside the door handle. Oh, well, on the other car, it's a T30. This one's a 10 millimeter, so I have that socket. I'm lucky. And then you need to pry up from the back here on this window switch. And then use your plug to unplug it. There's a Phillips screw in behind the door handle. You undo that. If I get this unclipped one handed, probably not. All right, I'll come back once I get this unclipped. And then you use your pry bar to get behind the door panel and get it popped. And then you could use your hands and pull it off. As you pull it off, you need to lift this part up that's on a steel rail in here. So pull it out with your hands around the, the perimeter and then lift up to pull it out. Okay, on some of the cars, there's a light in here you'll need to unplug. Then you unplug the power door lock switch and your speaker. Remove the plastic protective layer. Oh yes. Okay. You need to remove these two bolts here and these two bolts here. That gets the track in the motor out of the way. And then the window needs to come down and in here, or you can reach up and get it, there's two more 10 millimeter bolts that hold the glass onto the track. So I'm gonna undo them and then I'm gonna pull the track out. If you're lucky like me and it's motor is broken and the window is able to freely go up and down, you can remove these two bolts easily and remove the window from the track. However, if it's in the up position, what you'll need to do is remove these two bottom bolts and these two top bolts that hold the track on and that will drop it enough that you can access it from this hole here and over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these bolts out and remove the track. Also, these three bolts here are the motor. So you need to undo these three bolts as well and then unplug a plug from the back. I removed the bad motor and also the one from the parts car. Now the reason this malfunctioned, the motor itself is actually still good, but there's plastic clips that this window rides on. And what has happened is one of the clips is broken so the cable isn't retained, so it snapped off and it's gone around. This good one appears to, this one out of the parts car appears to be in good condition. All the cables are tight and everything. I'm just gonna lubricate up the track and reinstall it. 
this is the clip for the the motor it's inside the door and there's a little plastic clip that ties onto the top and then you'll see another blue one on top of it you don't need to undo the blue one you simply need to use a pick to stick in here and that will pop the wiring harness loose i'm going to get this ready and then i'm going to reinstall it back into the door now i've reinstalled the clip back onto the motor not that i believe you're going to see anything in there but what I'm going to do now is the long bolts are what used to hold the engine or the motor to this and these are the bolts that hold the track in. Now the long bolts are what holds the track in place and just simply use the witness marks to reinstall it in the right spot. Once I get that installed I'll come back and uh, show you how I get the motor in. Now that I've got all the motor bolts and the track bolts reinstalled on their witness marks I need to plug back in the power window switch and lower the window to an easier position to reinstall the bolts. Now that I've got all the motor bolts and the track bolts reinstalled on their witness marks, I need to plug back in the power window switch and lower the window to an easier position to reinstall the bolts. All right, after sweating in the 40 degree heat, I've got the two bolts back in the window. And it goes up and down smoothly. So now I'm going to reinstall our wind noise sheet. Okay, since it's warm, this will have no problem sticking back to the door. And then I'm simply going to reinstall the door panel. Okay, we got our door panel back installed. And our window goes back up and down freely. Now you can use either a front or rear passenger side motor they're the same and the same with the driver's side so if you have one that goes bad you, in the front you can use a rear and vice versa but they have to be from the same side so I hope this helps anybody out that has one of these and needs to do this job next time I've got a credit job to do on the Buick I'll record it and make a video of it thanks for watching